Now let's meet the Jaguars of Martin Luther King High School from Chicago, entering this game with a record of 28 wins and four losses. First, the head coach of King in his sixth season with a record of 160 wins and 21 losses, Landon Cox. And now the players, number 11, a 6'2 senior, Emmett Lynch. Number 15, a 6'2 senior, Keith Calbert. Number 21, a 6'6 senior, Anthony Burwell. Number 22, a 6'8 senior, Carl Anderson. Number 24, a 6'7 junior, Michael King. And number 25, a 16 junior, Terrence Cheeks. And now the starting lineup for the Jaguars of King. At one forward, 6'8", and a senior, number 30, Marcus Liberty. The crown prince of basketball in Illinois. At the other forward, a 6'6 freshman, number 20, Johnny Selby. He tears off 10 rebounds a game. At center, a 6'7 senior, 31, Richard Smith. Tough defender, averaging nine boards a contest. At guard, a 6'3 freshman, number 23, Jamie Brandon. Averaging nearly 16 a game. And at the other guard, a 5'10 junior, number 14, Carl Stanley. The point guard shooting at 69%. Those are the Jaguars of Martin Luther King High School from Chicago. And now the officials for this championship game, Kirby Ham of West Peoria and Rich Firebaugh of Peoria. That's it. We're set for the title. There are two left. One will take it all. One of your network sponsors. The matchups are there. King is in the white, trimmed in black and gold. Lincoln in the black, trimmed in orange and white. Into the middle, Marcus Liberty and LaFonso Ellis. And how would you like to build your team around those two? Uh, there are a lot of people are out there I'd like to build my team around. I tell you what, all the size, though, I still think the two most important people on the floor. <laughs> starting out great are the two point guards, Kyle Stanley and Rodney Chavis. James Harris starts the game with a thundering dunk. And Lincoln lets King know they're here. Liberty rises on his first one. Rebound by Selvi. And Lincoln has their turn. I think we ought to keep track of block shots and dunk this game. It'll take more than your fingers. <laughs> Inside it goes LaFonso Ellis. Puts the ball on the floor and a whistle. Traveling. King caught a break there because it wasn't a travel. We had a, a first foul on Marcus Liberty. Many people thought before the tournament started that with the brackets that were there, the two power teams might make it. They did. Brandon is stripped and a kick. The ball goes out of bounds. Still controlled by King. The guards are Carl Stanley and Jamie Brandon. Of course, Liberty comes in the backcourt to help. Here's a steal by the Tigers. This is Chavis. Lost the ball, picked up by the Lincoln team, and that's Harris along the baseline. He started the game with a dunk. Chavis is 6-1 at the point 10. King is in there, 2-3 zone. Lob inside, LaFonso Ellis. And Richard Smith rebounds. Frank, this is the defense that King has used the whole tournament. St. Louis is in there, 2 3 zone. It's a matchup of big people. Inside, shovel shot not good by Liberty. The running Tigers have it. Chambers, Chavis on a pull up. Chris Rogers steps in for two. It counts. Good control by Rodney Chavis on the fast break. He didn't have the shot himself. He just waited for somebody to, to fill the low post and then got it to him. Chris Rogers with a chance for a three-point play. Lincoln has broken on top, 4-0. Why 
Rodgers at 6'7", 225, drills it. A great start for East St. Louis. Something they didn't do this afternoon is make free throws. They got to do that tonight. Something they haven't done in the tournament is start well. They have in this game. This is Marcus Liberty. And a steal by the Tigers. Harris at 6'8". Harris to the glass. Both these coaches seem to think who wins the rebound battle will win the war. King has Brandon in the left corner there. Lob to Liberty. He knows what to do. He dropped it on the floor, and the Tigers have it. Rogers, Chavis. LaFonso Ellis. It's seven to nothing, Tigers. Woo. Six, nine and a half. 16-year-old center. Ellis. Now King. Looking for their first two. Liberty missed again. Looks like Jamie Brandon got slapped in the head. Five minutes and a half to go. 7-0. It's the Tigers. High post Rogers. Emmett Lynch is going to get up for King. Chavis. Whistle away from the ball. Like the... Uh, Foul is on LaFonso Ellis. There's a good look at him. Sonny Cox just told his team, slow down and get a good shot. Richard Smith, the center, comes in the back against the zone pressure of the Tigers. Ooh, nearly an over and back. Carl Stanley at the point. 1-4 set for King. They're trying to do what it, nobody's done since Thornridge. Back-to-back -back state championships in 71-2. Selby battles on the floor. Whistle. There's Landon Cox. This is going to be a hard game to officiate in one way, I think, because there's going to be a lot of contact in there with the big people, and I think there should be a lot of no calls when it, the contact doesn't really have an effect on the game. Selby, the freshman, is blocked taken down but King gets it back that's Emmett Lynch wheels the ball to Smith steps in and missed Harris Harris was flying down the court fouled by Lynch King's had two close in shots the last two trips down it just won't fall for him King took the running game and slowed it to a jog and now a whistle and they call timeout 445 to go in the opening period and Lincoln's off to an early lead <laughs> James Harris. Can't start any better than this. I think that's a little omen of things to come, I'll tell you. King is 0 for 7 from the field. There it is, and East St. Louis Lincoln, 3 of 7. It's a 7 to nothing lead. Lincoln with the ball. We'll call East St. Louis Lincoln, Lincoln much of the time. The zone for King. Woo. Inside Harris for 2. Great pass by Rodney Chavis. He's a good-looking guard. Carl Stanley double-teamed in the backcourt. This is Emmett Lynch. He was a starter last year. Lynch gets in. Liberty. Oh, there's a whistle. Looks like James Harris had a sprained an ankle across the way. Liberty gets the goal. Harris there on the ground. He's in a lot of pain right now. He's going to try to shake it off. What a follow-up by Liberty, on huh? Left-handed, just tapped it in. Lawrence Bradford. I don't know if Harris is going to be able to go. Let's see if we can spot how it happened. Watch that foot. Watch that foot right there. Ah. See the foot turn, and there's your sprain. Great look with the camera. Lincoln leads by seven. Bradford is in. Ellis shoots it in. He shot that over. Tremendous defensive pressure. Shirts around the assembly hall say the Fonz. And there are East St. Louis shirts. Talking about LaFonso Ellis. Lynch goes by his man on the right. Swirling, wild shot by Liberty Miss. And here's Bradford. Picks it up. 11 to 2 in the early going. The Tigers. Bradford lobs inside. Ellis is free. Count it. And this is a little different LaFonso Ellis than we saw earlier in this tournament. At first, Liberty thought that Ellis was going to go straight for the basket. Then Ellis adjusted, went to his right, 
Liberty tried to get away from him, as you can see, by pulling the arm off there, but it was too late. A three-point play, and East St. Louis Lincoln could go up by a dozen, Frank. Ellis had two points in the semifinals. He has six in this first quarter, shooting for the seventh. He was 0 for 6 at the foul line in the semifinals, and he changes that. What was that about free throwing being mental? Well, I, you know, they are, East St. Louis is really ready to go this game, as the score indicates, and their concentration on their free throws has been excellent also. 14 to 2, Lincoln. Liberty has two, and a finger roll. <laughs> That's quite a shot over Ellis. Wow. Four for Liberty, four for King. Ellis out of the court. Frank, he is not going to do it all by himself. We've got to get King has got to get more players involved in their offense. Richard Smith picks up the foul at the 317 mark in the first period. A couple of alumni from King are here watching the game. Lavertus Robinson from the championship team of last year, as you look at Benny Lewis, and Ephraim Winters sitting behind us in the stands. Star at the University of Illinois after playing at King. East St. Louis with the ball. Ellis way outside. That's Chavis. Sends it into Rogers on the low block. Rebound Liberty. King down by 10. Lynch in transition. Long rebound. Rodney Chavis. Low percentage shot again. The game is up tempo. The leading scorers are the two people that you write songs about. Lafonso Ellis and Marcus Liberty. Frank, uh, Coach Cox has done something a little bit different. He's, he's taken his players out of the 2-3 zone into a man-to-man, -man, but I'm going to say it not with a good result, but he didn't miss the shot. Rogers the miss. Liberty right up the court. Missed the jumper. Lawrence Bradford, who came in for the injured James Harris, has the ball. King players are not showing any patience on offense. They're worried about that 10-point lead. There's a long way to go. They have to be patient and start getting good shots, not those, not those wild shots. Here's a shot up. Not good by the Tigers and now the Jaguars back this is Marcus Liberty baseline turnaround Chavis one on one against Stanley pull up one hander there's a lot of shots getting thrown up there now that one goes off the top of the bank board and that's out of bounds to King I thought that was going to fall in it wouldn't have counted but it almost fell in and Liberty way off the mark he's not setting himself coach no, he's a little anxious. He knows he's a leader, and he and he knows people are looking for him to get uh, King back in the game. And he, but he still has to maintain uh, his patience a little bit and and get good shots. Not Co Cox sent uh, Jamie Brandon back in the game, and back in James Harris for the Tigers. Now something that's helping King here also is the East St. Louis isn't getting the best shots either. A minute 50, first quarter, Lincoln by 10. Brandon shoots. Rogers rebounds and runs. Well, they promised up tempo. Now Chavis tries to run a set play. Ellis on one side of the lane. Harris low block the other. Punch it into Harris. Foul on Liberty. Number two on Marcus Liberty. And foul trouble for him would be an unbelievable blow for King. Well, the way they're relying on him, I have to. I agree with you. Although you wonder if he did go out, the other players would have to say, hey, somebody else has got to do it. Uh, maybe it would actually help him. He had 102 points in the three games before this one. And here's one of the questions about the game. How well will East St. Louis Lincoln shoot free throws? So far, well indeed. They've hit nothing but nuts so far. They weren't out here during the break working out a little bit, were they? Well, I'll tell you, they were hitting nothing but iron uh, this afternoon, so uh, uh, it's one uh, wonder uh, what a couple hours then. Rogers rebounds, tries to finger roll it, thrown back in his face by Smith. Stanley tried to save it, and Lincoln has it. Good hustle there by Carl Stanley. Lincoln tries to add to an 11-point first quarter lead. This for the state championship. Two traditional powers in the state of recent years. Of course, East St. Louis a bit longer in that power label than King. King, of course, the defending champion. Now it's man-to-man -man by King. Chavis gets free. Ellis swirls. Rebound, Rogers barges in and is fouled. There's some big bodies down in the paint. 
Well, so far, the power of East St. Louis is beating the power of King. Frank, what I said a while ago about Marcus Liberty getting set, now he's so talented, actually, he doesn't have to be set every time. But those shots, they're just a little too wild even for Marcus at this point. Chris Rogers, 49 points in the two games, the quarterfinals and semifinals. 47 points. Excellent job. These teams are both explosive. Both can make runs of points. They can turn it over with their defense. They'll throw it all at each other in this one. Still 15 to 4. Marcus Liberty has all of King's points. One minute, first quarter. Liberty didn't even look. Turned around and let it fly. He's got it back. He wheels it up and is fouled. Looks like Rogers got him. Liberty on the baseline. And he, and he took the, the first shot. Wasn't that good a shot. He got the rebound and then really powered it up and took the foul. Liberty shoots two. Some numbers about him. He averages 27 points and 13 rebounds a game. Another block shot. And the Tigers, two on one, bring it up. Chavis missed. Rebound to Anderson. King's running the other way. All the way down, Brandon got it down. Jamie Brandon makes it 15 to 6, and there's the clock on your screen. Chavis comes up. Here's a lob intended for Ellis. Tapped away. King's got it. Stanley up ahead. Here comes Brandon. Brandon's got another. And go! What a play by Brandon. He may, he could call an intentional foul, too. I don't know if they're gonna. Official Kirby Hand says count the basket. Watch this shot by freshman Jamie Brandon. See, it was very obvious he didn't want him to take that shot at all. He could have given him two shots on that because an intentional foul. And the strength. That was really a tremendous play. Was he a freshman? 15 years old. Wow, what power. 6'3 and 190. Frank, did you just say uh, King can score points in bunches? <laughs> That's exactly yep. what's happened. Here's a miss, but Liberty's got it. He's there. It's missed. And that would have been a three-point possibility again. Right. So from 15 to 4, in a blink, it's 15 to 8. And Liberty will shoot two. Now, I was just going to say, the last time down court, I was wondering if East St. Louis was going to go for one. Because <laughs> that's what we saw from St. Joe's and Quincy. There's no going for one. I must there's maybe about four seconds left. Only because that's all there's time for. Exactly right. Liberty puts it down. King has crawled back within six with five points in a row. Liberty a pair. It's a five-point Lincoln lead. The pressure's extended. Stolen by Liberty. Uh -oh. Crossover dribble. Look out now. Another foul on the Tigers, and all of a sudden, Marcus Liberty explodes, and King's on the move. That was 6-8 going up against 6-1, and the 6-8 guy got the better of it. On a high school floor, did you ever think you'd see a guy 6-4 or 5 look small? No. <laughs> Not in my gym, I know that. <laughs> You know, when I looked up at the clock, I think it was 15 to 4 with a minute to go in the game, and I'm thinking to myself, this has got to be the worst first quarter the Kings had all year. And now we've got 17 seconds to go. It's 15-11. So we turn a disaster into something that's not going to be too bad if you're a King fan. Liberty leading King with steals and blocks today. Liberty can't hit that one. And Rodgers gets the ball. Clock is at 10 seconds. The Tigers want one. See who they go to. Ellis wants the ball. Ellis is tipped away by Anderson. One second. That's the quarter. At the end of one in the championship game. Lincoln 15 and King 11. One of your network sponsors is Country Companies Insurance. 
And Coach Geist, one of the factors that has to bother Landon Cox is that Marcus Liberty, as great as he is, has two fouls. Yeah, but he has a tendency to, to be able to play with fouls. Um, and then also, I think because he is so great, I think he, uh, and I don't mean this to be negative, but I think he gets away with it a little bit once in a while. Lincoln 33%, King only 20% in this game. The free throws are very close. Look at the rebound. 31 rebounds in the first quarter. Turnovers are even. Well, there's a lot of rebounds because there's a lot of missed shots. Neither team is shooting very well right now. And that may be the defense of the other. Brandon lobs inside to Liberty. He's triple team jump ball, and the possession arrow is what counts here, and that goes to East St. Louis Lincoln. I wonder how many times that happened. Marcus caught the ball, kept the ball above his head, and he got, it, he got tied up. When he's holding the ball that high, how well, high is it? That's what I mean. You guys are pretty tall people out there to do that. Man-to-man -man for King now. Chavis at the point for the Tigers. LaFonso Ellis sets the post. Chavis lets fly. Ellis pokes at it. The long arms get it to his teammate. Good play by Ellis. Bradford's inside, rejected nicely by King. Great Up ahead of Stanley. He's going to fly in for the deuce. Great play down here. Blocks the shot, keeps it in play, and King gets the layup. Well, Anderson's the man right now that they've got on LaFonso Ellis, too, so he's got some strong duty right now. Nine in a row for Lincoln. Harris tries to break the spell. Can't hit. And it's... Carl Anderson at 6-8 on the board. Inside Liberty. Missed but fouled. Liberty's a little frustrated now, Frank, because he's missed about four or five in close. They haven't been easy shots, don't get me wrong. But if you know Marcus Liberty, about two or three of those usually fall. Now a whistle. East St. Louis Lincoln wants timeout on the court. We've got a two-point game for the championship. One of your network sponsors is the American... And then he makes another one by keeping it in bounds. That's Carl Stanley. Well, I think this is why King got the layup, is everybody on East St. Louis, when they saw the block shot going out of bounds, figured it was going out. So why bother to hustle back? Now Marcus Liberty, a little frustrated with the miss here. You know, I don't know if it's frustration there as much as he might have expected himself to make the three-point play. You know, he was hacked on the arm, but uh, he's got such ex high expectations of himself, he might have wanted the three, and I'm sure he did. The coaches before the game talked about an up-tempo, if you will, the street game, and we've got it. Oh, yeah. It's not going to end. It's going to continue. This will be a crescendo of bodies, I'll tell you. Liberty deal. Everybody's going to be tired when this thing's over. We're going to be tired watching them working as hard as they are and running up and down. Moments ago, it was 15 to 4. It's 15 all. Liberty is back in the groove, would you say, Frank? He's outrageous. He's got a diamond and one, three-quarter court press right now. The King is definitely on a run. The Tigers need a hoop. King's defense has been better, and it's checkmated. The Tigers from St. Clair County. Lawrence Bradford is 23. There's a lob inside to Ellis. He's on the baseline. LaFonso wants a shot. Bing! Well, banked in. I'm not sure he was planning it, but it did, did go in for him, and it still counts for two. There's the trap. Stanley sends it up ahead. Carl Anderson. Remember, he's a reserve at 6'8", 210. Jamie Brandon. Out. The transition game is on. Chavis to Harris to the basket. Blocked by Liberty. Count it. Goal tending on Marcus Liberty. Let's see if he got it. Well, I didn't think it was the first time. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think it hit the glass first. If it hits the glass first. Well, then it's obvious. That it, uh, I, I, I think it just nicked it before he got it. I'd have to look at it one more time. Here's a big steal by Rodney Chavis. Now Lincoln's on a run. Four for Lincoln in a row. After King ran 11 straight. Open is Rogers. Stutter, step, and move. Dish off inside Harris. Great pass. Really a nice pass by Chris Rogers. Rogers has stamped himself as a fine basketball player in this tournament. Five and a half to go. First half. Lincoln by six. The defending champs in white. This is Illinois bound. Marcus Liberty. Still zoned for Lincoln. 
Stanley's open. Inside, Selby missed. Liberty tipped once. Liberty's got it again for two. Great. He just kept with it, kept tapping at it until he finally could control it and put it in. Marcus Liberty with 11. How quickly he can get 11 points. Lafonso Ellis, boom! Liberty made a smart play there. He came over. He could have gotten in his way, but he would have picked up his third foul, so he gave him the gimme, and what a gimme it was. So this is why you don't worry about Marcus Liberty and, uh, uh, as far as fouls go, because he has a way to avoid them. Ellis with 11. Liberty with 11. 23-17, Lincoln. Star Wars. <laughs> Anderson inside the Liberty turns left shoots bang well Frank we've really seen the LaFonso Ellis I think that everybody told us about coming down here that we didn't see yesterday and this, this afternoon now King has a turnover and Brandon pumps it up and in. there's that freshman again doing a, a twirl move and getting it off the glass six for Brandon the game is a two-pointer Ellis again Whoa. Slam, bam. What a pass, huh? Good penetration by Chavis. King on the hunt. The assembly hall echoing. Liberty will try to answer. Fake and left hand. Harris rebound. Three on one. Bradford. Harris. Boom. They're going to keep shooting like that. They're going to not going to miss another shot. It's prime time in the assembly hall. Six-point lead by Lincoln, and what a show. Jamie Brandon, outside left. Anderson fakes and goes. Rebound to the running Chavis. Harris is ahead of the pack. Here he comes. Got an injured player. Now there's a whistle. There's an injured player. Harris has come up lame, too, after he made the shot. Let's see. That's Carl Stanley for King, who's down. I think Chavis ran into him after delivering the ball to Harris, and Harris is still favoring that ankle, too, Frank. Liberty ran into him then. Liberty, his own teammate, hit him. Let's see. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Marcus is hustling back. Looked like uh, Stanley was going to try to take a charge. The man went around him, and then... And then Marcus didn't see him, just ran him over. Harris is going to head for the locker room with the trainer and uh, take a look at that injury. So that's a blow for East St. Louis Lincoln, who leads by eight. And wasn't that a flurry? Oh, it's incredible. You knew something was wrong with Harris because he didn't dunk the ball, I guess, huh? All right, so that's what they're going to do now is probably tape it up. Here's a steal by LaFonso Ellis. Chavis is ahead. Ellis is coming with him. And Emmett Lynch got it from behind. Well, this fast break of East St. Louis this is really something else. They're getting the ball out and running with it. And notice who gets the ball first, Rodney Chavis. Good defensive play at the other end by Ellis, who stopped the alley-oop pass into Liberty. My head feels like it's watching a tennis match. Here's a lob inside. Rogers. That's an easy layup. And nope. it's a 10-point Lincoln lead. No backdoor support. Liberty gambled on the steal, and it cost him. 2.40 to go in a blistering first half. Liberty is 30. There's Landon Cox calling out a play. Anderson's outside. Liberty's inside. LaFonso Ellis stole it. Up ahead is Chavis. Will he give it back? It's Chambers for two. Another great fast break with Chavis leading it. And good King. timeout, Frank. Very good timeout. With 2.19, King calls time. It's Lincoln in the lead and running. We'll be back. Let's pause for these messages. By their front line like this Harris high percentage shot when you throw the ball down at the basket you like that one uh, well, we got another one whatever you want LaFonso Ellis a stinger they got a few kids who can do that don't they it's nine in a row for Lincoln you know what this game is going to be a game of runs and I think the timeouts are going to be used to try, hopefully stop or halt those runs. Lincoln on a 9 of 11 field goal shooting quarter. King 4 of 9. And they've warmed up. 33 for Lincoln with the ball. 21 for the defending state champion King. The assembly hall buzzing. Chavis. Inside intended for 
Lafonso Ellis. This is Liberty. Stutter step and glide. Uh, you, you know, you run out of things to say about him. He makes it look so easy. 15 points of the 18 for King. And a whistle and a foul on Carl Anderson of King. Chavis hit the deck. Yeah, he hit it hard, too. Oh. He was fortunate not to lose this ball, Frank. After we joined this replay, he picked it up after King slapped it and then, of course, was tripped. Another angle in that play. Yeah, there's the leg out, and he, he just trips the player, and he goes down hard. Oh, he got that, some excellent replay. Yeah, that floor is hard, too. Davis gets up and knocks down the free throw. Well, we've got some great angles on plays, haven't we? On the All the important plays we seem to be getting. 151 to go. In the first half, a pair by Chavis. It's a 12-point Lincoln lead, their longest lead. They had a 15-4 lead earlier. You think the last minute of the second quarter is going to be uh, as good for King as the last minute of the first one, Frank? Well, that would leave Sonny Cox with a slight grin at halftime. Even Sonny, I think, would have to smile at that. 1-4 offensive set for King. Liberty to the right of the high post. Now he slides down. Three men around him. They get it to him anyway. He dishes off. It's Selvey. Selvey's rejected. The Tigers have three on one. Can Lynch stop them? No. Give the goal to Lawrence Bradford. Tough shot. There's the clock and the score. Liberty will try to answer from 10. Rebound. Jamie Brandon blocked by Lafonso Ellis. Up ahead to Bradford. Here he comes. And East St. Louis Lincoln has blown to a 39-23 lead. Emmett Lynch made a crucial mistake on that. He went in instead of dropping back after the block. He went for the ball, and there was nobody back on defense. Selvey holds high. Remember, James Harris is out with an injury for the Tigers. Lynch holds. 40 seconds, first half. Lincoln by an astonishing 16. Liberty dishes nicely to Anderson, who's fouled. Fouled by... Mark Chambers. Anderson was in great position, and Liberty got him the ball. Yeah, Liberty has got nowhere to go with the ball, and he, he that was a nice cut, too, by Anderson. He's a, it was a good two-man play. Pretty authoritative foul, too. He wasn't going to make that one. Anderson, you notice that ball didn't rotate at all. It didn't no. move, but it went right in the middle. What do you think? Uh, they could go for one shot. We got 34 seconds to go. They're up 15, 15 points yet. Yes. I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> they try to shake somebody free, and they make the call. Less than 20 seconds. Now you were right, points. Frank. They're going for one. Rodney Chavis. That's the man they want with the ball. They make the move now. Seven, six. Lafonso Ellis looks at the clock and fires from way out. Go! Lafonso Ellis put his signature on the first half with a 20-foot J. And here's your halftime score. Lincoln 41, the defending champions 24. <laughs> That's right. And um, there he is. The he won this championship with a team here in 82, 29 and one. He'd like to go 28 and one tonight and get his second title. I think the first couple minutes there are very important for King. They've got to set a little bit of a different tempo. Well, Liberty set in the post and laid it in. Yeah, that's a good start for him. But they've got to they've got to prove to themselves that they can get back in this game. James Harris is back in the game. That's significant for the Tigers. 22 who went out with an injury. Here's a lob inside for Ellis, picked off by Liberty. Here comes King, one on four. Liberty goes all the way. Missed, oh, there's Stanley. On the weak side, a 5'10 guard. Selvey started that with good defense, not allowing the lob pass. Harris. Oh, what a shot by Chavis. <laughs> That was incredible. I was, I, as soon as he took it, I see that's not the shot they want, and then he pours it through. That's exactly the reaction of their bench, too. 
Stepped out of bounds. And the turnover is an important factor in the game. 654. Let's take a look at that, see if you can see it. Right there. His right foot touched the line. The official was standing right there. For King, Jamie Brandon out. Emmett Lynch in. Chavis gets the ball in the corner to Rogers. Across the paint he goes. The ball goes glancing out of bounds off Harris. Had the right idea because the man was open. He just threw past the ball down just a little bit too hard. I don't think he had a choice. He had two hands up above his face. Pressure defense by the Tigers. Liberty. Block. Got it back. Finger roll. He stuck with it real well. I don't. I still don't think he's too used to getting that shot blocked. But just got it back and put it back in. 19 points. As Harris caught it. Liberty stole it. Couldn't hang on. Sonny Cox wants a traveling call, and if. King did not touch that ball in the interim. It looked to me like Harris lost it and caught it again. You can't do that. Something looked, it looked funny. I know that. Yeah. I don't know if it was a violation or not, but it sure looked strange. Harris punches it into Lafonso Ellis. Slap that. Ellis has got it. Fires it up. Uh -oh. And a foul. Is that on? Liberty's third. Yes. Well, he knew it, too. The official called it, and he just nodded to him. Good call. With 6.21 to play, the third foul on Liberty. The score is 43 to 30 in favor of East St. Louis Lincoln as they try to dethrone King. Harris, bang! I thought that was out of his range. I'm not sure. You know, you don't know with these players what's out of their range and what they can and cannot do. They just keep doing some spectacular things. Liberty just slipped the ball between his legs, and Stanley sets up. Harris starts in. Liberty catches it in traffic, steps in and missed. Look at that tip back, and couldn't get it. Ellis with a big rebound. Harris in the corner. They throw the ball away. Up ahead is Emmett Lynch. Chambers tries to catch him. Lynch has got it. You notice on that, too, the great hustle of Marcus Liberty. He had a breakaway layup. Instead of hanging back and, and conserving some energy, he hustled down because you never know if there's going to be a miss or not. Rogers, one of the thoroughbreds in this game, throws it away. And King will be able to cut into the lead again if they can hit. You know, it seems like every time we see Liberty play, he just he impresses you with something different, like that hustle play just following that shot. You know, a lot of players just wouldn't do it. Lynch out. Jamie Brandon back. Brandon, a freshman. King moves the basketball. If you join us late, King in white. Lincoln in the black. Here's a bad pass by Smith. Chavis pulls up, lobs, a somehow one-handed Ellis. He turned a bad pass into a basket. That was incredible. Wow. Here's a ball deflected by Chavis out of bounds with 5.04 to go. Lincoln has built a 15-point advantage, and LaFonso Ellis looked like he was holding a tennis racket in his hand. Watch. See, the pass is really too high, but he gets in behind him, but he gets control of it and, and gets a, a little roll, and it's in. 2-3 zone by the Tigers. Selvi sets up on one side, and Brandon pumps. Nice jump shot by Brandon. That's eight for the freshman. Chambers clears. Ellis is out on the court about 10 or 12 feet. Rogers adjusts in the air. Chavis starts to his left. Harris blows down the lane, throws it up and missed, but tipped home by Ellis. Nope, by Rogers. And Marcus Liberty forgot to screen out that time. Rogers was his man. He tipped it in. Lincoln by 15 points. Liberty caught it, got away from his man, goes all the way in and jumped over Ellis for the deuce. That's, that's quite a jump, too, <laughs> over him. 21 for Liberty. If anybody can bring King back, he will. Ellis tries and missed for the second time. He's got it down. See the King play. Marcus Liberty made a good play in intimidating the first shot, but the other King players stood around and watched it instead of getting in, in rebounding position. So when Ellis missed, he was right there for the tip-in. 19 for Ellis. Liberty the other end, good again. 
Well, he's trying to get them back in the game. It's still 13. They've got to start playing better defense at the, this end of the court. He's an amazing player. He's got three fouls. Ellis squirrels in, missed. Liberty's got it. Here comes King. 13 down. 23 points in the game. Stutter step and go. Who's got the ball? The Tigers have it. See, nobody's given Marcus any help right now. He took it all away, took the shot. Somebody from King should have been there for the offensive board. They've got to help him out a little bit. Rogers fires outside. Long rebound on the floor. Brandon's got it and throws it way up ahead for Liberty. Here he comes. Somehow he got it up. And he was fouled. Great shot, just getting it to the hoop. You know, if you get it up there, you never know if you get the lucky roll. Ah, uh, just another Saturday night at the Assembly Hall. Just relaxing. It was body control. Now there's timeout. East St. Louis Lincoln, 3.06 to play in the third quarter. Lincoln in the lead, one of your network sponsors, the American Dairy Association of Illinois. Liberty injured briefly on the other end. Here he comes down. He throws the ball up and he's fouled. And he laid there. And quite a while after our picture of him, he was still there. But he's back now, ready to go live action at the foul line. Frank, I don't really think he was hurt. I just think he's, he was exhausted. Because he's been playing both ends of the court. We've mentioned that. He's been fouling up shots. He's been doing everything. And you just have so much energy. He, I think he really needed that rest. The touch is there. And certainly with 3.06 to go in the third quarter, King is still in this game. And if anybody can bring you back, it's Marcus Liberty. He's now 25. 11-point game. Rogers gets in the clear. Let's fly. The shooting percentage of the Tigers very good here in the title game. Brandon moving in slow motion at the moment. Anderson outside. Lynch is playing the point. Brandon looks inside. He finds Liberty. He goes against Ellis. Somehow got it up. Now gets it back. And got it down. He wanted to get the spin on the reverse. Couldn't get it. So he realized that and got his own rebound and went right back up. Now it's an 11-point game. Just seems to me on offense, they get the ball to Marcus Liberty and the other four King players just stand there and watch him. They can't do that. Liberty with 12 in the quarter. Chavis lets it go. Liberty rebounds. Two on four against King, but Liberty pulls up and drills it. Incredible. This is a great one-man show. At the two-minute mark, a nine-point game. And Marcus Liberty who will call this home as 29. Harris baseline. He gets in. Two. Liberty had to let him slide by, Frank. Makes it 11. 17 for Harris. Liberty's going to try to answer. He's about a 14-footer, bottom of the net. Is this an exhibition? Uh, it's something else. I'm Re still waiting. If I was, uh, I think, Coach Cox, I think I'd, at the quarter or a timeout or whatever, I'd tell Marcus to rest, and I'd take the other four players to chew out their rear ends for not helping them. Lafonso Ellis caught the ball. Looked like he might have shuffled his feet yeah, down there and got it in. Frank, I agree. That's happened. And this, this is the first time it's happened. Uh, East St. Louis uh, kids have shuffled their feet a couple times. They're just not calling it, though. Brandon got the shot off. But the foul on the Tigers. Marcus Liberty, now the double A tournament scoring record holder. The old record was by Mitch Arnold of Effingham in 1980. He had 115 points. Liberty's total continues to mount. And what a salute to him. He came into this game with 41 in the Super, 23 in the quarterfinals, and 38 in the semifinals. Brandon. There's 59 seconds to go in the third quarter. This shot could bring King within 10. No. 
Ellis with the ball. Liberty with 17 points in the third quarter has held King in the game. Here's a steal by the Jaguars, and they can't hold on to it. Seems to be indicative of the way their game's going, Frank. They had a good steal there and good hustle, but two men at the same time trying to get the ball. Now let's see if the Tigers want one shot. That's Chambers, 14. Benny Lewis yells at his team. Clock moves toward a half minute to go, third quarter. Ellis way out on the court. Chambers goes down the alley. He had Liberty at disadvantage because Marcus didn't want to foul him because he's got those three fouls. Smart play by the guard. Take it to him. Now King with 15 seconds. Selvi pitches it into Liberty, who fakes and goes. <laughs> it's so automatic for him. Here's Liberty diving to steal the ball and out of bounds to the Tigers with three seconds. Great defensive save. Liberty with 33 in the game. We're in the third quarter. You making more than two at a time. Ellis at the buzzer. No. That's the end of three quarters of play. With the score, Lincoln 59 and King 48. Now let's pause for these messages. Give the ball to Marcus Liberty and let him shoot. But what I'd like to see him do is hustle around those boards a little bit. And if he does miss, you know, let's get the second shot and put it back up for him rather than kind of standing around and, and watching to see what's going to happen. East St. Louis Lincoln will start with the ball. They've got Lawrence Bradford in the game. Here's a ball intended for Ellis. He's got it now. He turns. He lost it. Harris has got it for two. Good luck on the side of the Tigers that time. 1-2-1-1 one, 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 half-court trap by the Tigers. Here's the ball to Selvi inside. He steps in, is blocked. He's got it back, blocked a second time. Two blocks, and here comes Bradford the other way. 360. Yes. That's the way it's going. That's a great play. Listen to the crowd in the assembly hall. Smith dropped it. They're looking for Liberty. Can't find him. The Tigers are on the hunt. Bradford. Blocked from behind, but Rogers follows. That's just good hustle by Lincoln. I mean, they're all the way up and down the floor, three and four men at a time, and that's what King's not be being able to do. Yeah. They've got five guys working and hustling hard, and I'm sorry to say, I think King's only got one. Now, here's an example. It's been a tough game for Johnny Selvey, the freshman from King. And here he gets the ball and tries the power. He gets it blocked. He gets it back, though, goes up again, gets it blocked again, and then here they go with their fast break. Watch Bradford with this 360. <laughs> I wonder what Gene Pignator would say about that shot, but look at Alfonso Ellis. I mean, he's a force on both sides. Look at the shooting percentage. 27 of 46 is 59% to 40%, and that's the big eye-popping difference in the game. Marcus Liberty has 33 of King's 48 points. That means 15 for the rest of the team. 7.07 to play. King has the ball, and they need to score in a hurry. They're going to have to make some defensive stops as well as get the ball in the basket as Lincoln has played with unusual intensity. Here's a steal by Lawrence Bradford. Chavis goes all the way down the runway. It didn't go. By quarters. Look at the second quarter for Lincoln, 26 points. King with a 24-point third quarter, and Lincoln owns the ball in the fourth. Frank Bassoni along with Jim Albright and Coach Bill Geist. Hope you've enjoyed the tremendous action here at the Assembly Hall. Ellis. This is hard to believe, but he's got another year to play in high school. Yeah. So you know East St. Louis Lincoln will be great again next year. Just okay. knowing he'll be back is enough to well, know. Well, yeah, I was going to say it's a heck of a start when he got guy 6'9". He might uh, probably be taller next year, too, because he's still growing. And he's listed 6'9 and a half, 215. Brandon's wide open. He's got to take this and got it. 
Jamie Brandon knocked it in. It's a 15-point game with 6-10. And now let's see if King can get the turnover. Chavis goes by two men, hangs in the air, throws up a shot. No, Ellis gets the rebound. He steps backwards and walks. Well, it's not over. We still got six minutes to go. And it's, still, it's a 15-point lead. King has got to start scoring almost every time down the court. Emmett Lynch comes up. Coach Cox is doing a lot of talking to his players, trying to get them involved in the game, calling offenses and defenses. He's doing the best he can. Brandon tries again. Good again. Jamie Brandon gets King back within 13. There's still a lot of time. That's a dozen points for Brandon. See, that's what they need. Somebody else to take some of the, the pressure off of uh, Liberty on offense. Now, wait a minute. 33 and 12 is 45 out of 52 in those two players. Backing in is Rogers. He got hung up in the air and fortunately got it to his man, Harris. It falls. Uh, see, Liberty is, is limited with what he can do on defense, and uh, Lincoln has taken advantage of that. Up ahead, Smith. Shoots outside. Lafonso Ellis grabbed the rebound with his hand on top of the ball. I'm impressed. Wow. <laughs> Lafonso, you can have it if you want it. I'm not going to take it away from you. Like he stuck it with a bayonet. Rogers. Stripped by Liberty. But the Tigers get it back. Chavis with the quick hands. 4.40 to play in the championship game. And East St. Louis Lincoln is up by 15. Chavis dancing, fouled by Lynch. Well, I think we're going to see a little bit of that now. They have to start putting a little bit more pressure on defensively and hopefully get a couple steals. Richard Smith comes out. Carl Anderson in for King. Not sure Landon Cox liked that 15-foot jumper by his center. Chavis is going to hold it up. 6-1 senior. Has had a good tournament. Ellis sets a ferocious post, taken away by Selvey and lost out of bounds. Johnny Selvey's starting to get a little bit more involved in the game now. There's some banging going on down there. Uh, yeah, if the, the, the banging that's going on between Ellis and Selvey is incredible. They, they just shoved each other again. A freshman and a junior, and they're working each other over. Flying through the middle, James Harris at 6'8 and 220. He has 23. It's a 17-point Lincoln lead, and more and more, it looks like the title may be heading south. Anderson was clipped, got the ball back, and knocked out of bounds by Bradford. Anderson was fouled on the shot. The officials were just looking the wrong way. Benny Lewis. Here's a whistle on the ball inside right away before the call. Lafonso Ellis put up his hand. Design play to Marcus Liberty on the lob. That's what Sonny Cox called for from the sidelines. And How's that for a couple athletes skying? It's nice to be able to just toss it up in the air and just say, here, go get it. Brandon missed outside. Selvey forced it up, couldn't get it. Anderson has blocked and fouled. Good job on the boards by Carl Anderson. Ellis got his third foul. Seems like every time Selby shoots, he's getting it blocked. He's got to feel very, very frustrated. Well, you know, when you're that small, only 6'6 six, six and 220. <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? Coach, uh, uh, Coach Cox is just uh, cheering on Johnny Selby. Looked at him and clapped for him. He said, That's the way you got to do it. Just keep on hustling, keep on going after the board and put it up. Anderson dropped in the free throw. 59% foul shooter. Hit them both. 15-point game, just under four minutes left. Rogers in big trouble. Got it to his point guard. Chavis holds it up. Good patience. Lincoln getting the ball out, didn't force the break. Lawrence Bradford with a lot of playing time in this game. See, the clock's their enemy now. That's the one they want to beat. Rogers got free. This is Ellis. He was held and fouled, and Ellis is going to get two shots. Marcus Liberty, four fouls. He knew exactly how many he had, but he had to contest this one. 
And see what he's looking for there. He's looking for a, a great play, like a, a block to maybe spark his teammates to get him going. Ellis had 15 games of 20 or more rebounds before the tournament. That is a staggering statistic. Well, I think seeing him play this game, we can see why. First two games, we, you know, we're kind of questioning those totals, but not after this game. 3.33 to play. Now you know why everybody wants Lafonso Ellis. Liberty comes up. He pulls up from 17. Ellis has it, blocked by Liberty. Chavis has it, three on two, inside Bradford. Marcus Liberty has given it every ounce of energy he has. He went diving on the floor again that time. Anderson, skip pass. Brandon shakes for the baseline. That one rolls off. Anderson got the rebound. Lynch exchanged hands, gave it to Liberty for two. 35 for Marcus Liberty and his first two in the fourth quarter. 72-56, it's Lincoln's way. 2.40 to play in the game. This is traveling on James Harris. Rich Firebaugh just walked by and he said, we have travel before the contact. And he blew his whistle too and was gonna call a foul, but the other official called him off and he said, I have the travel first, so that's the way it goes. Good communication between the officials. There's Emmett Lynch. Two and a half minutes to go, and Lynch sends it up. Ellis rebounds. Ellis has a boatload of rebounds in the game. Chavis wheels the ball to Rogers. Nicely done, stolen by Anderson. Now it's the transition game. And a foul by Rogers, and Benny Lewis didn't want that. Chris Rogers picked up the foul. That will send Marcus Liberty to the free throw line. You know, Frank, the only chance the King might have now, we got just the 2.12 to go, they're 16 down, is maybe to start fouling and hoping uh, East St. Louis starts shooting free throws like they did this afternoon. That may be what, exactly what they'll do. 2.12 to play in the game. There's timeout on the court. Let's pause for these messages. And there could be a new name on the Palace mailbox. Well, looks St. Louis Lincoln's really played well, Coach. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, um, I think the best team is winning. Uh, East St. Louis Lincoln has had contributions from all their players. I can't really say that about King. Even though Marcus Liberty has had this great game, he hasn't had the support that LaFonso Ellis has had. That's now 138 points in the tournament. The former record was 115. So maybe they have the, the two freshmen uh, on the team that finally kind of caught up with, with, with King a little bit. They're although, not going to count the free throw, excuse me, Coach, because King left too early, or I should say Liberty did. Although one of the freshmen, Brandon, has played very well, but Johnny Selby uh, hasn't contributed that much, and uh, I think it was a Carl Anderson, I think, was another one that really hasn't helped out that much. Bradford gets into the front court. 72-57 in favor of Lincoln as they go for the state championship that they won back in 1982. In 83, they lost in the quarterfinals. Last year, lost in the Super. Ellis bangs at it. Rogers gets it and a whistle and a foul and count the goal. Richard Smith, the foul. And the Tigers have had everything go well for them in the title game. The way East St. Louis Lincoln is playing, Frank, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold the ball. <laughs> everything they're putting up is going down. Harris got hung up in no man's land. Well, watch this shot now. He goes up. And I mean, he is really fouled, and it still goes down. East St. Louis Lincoln, home alumni like Jackie Joyner of the U.S. Olympic medal, the Sullivan Award, Donald McHenry, the former U.N. ambassador, Miles Davis, the great jazz musician, Dr. Ross Miller, who was at the JFK assassination, and many more as Liberty knocks one in. Liberty continues his assault on the record book in the state tournament. You see Emmett Lynch now walking onto the court. 
as Stanley goes off. He got hurt on this in this game, and he limps off the court. Carl Stanley, a junior, will be back along with Brandon and Selby out of the starters for King. Liberty knocks in another free throw. 74-60 is the score. That's 39 points for Marcus. Now it'll be free throw time for Lincoln, probably. 14-point lead, a minute. 31. King has got a foul here and, and, and stop this clock. Bradford dribbling the time away. King not fouling. Now it's Chavis' turn. We're getting some major time off the clock. And Rogers. Liberty's got four fouls. And the ball. Here comes Marcus Liberty. Count it. 41. Well, if you paid to get in, <laughs> you got your money's worth and then some. Well, just watching him is a treat. And you know, I, there are good scores and, and all that, but he's really a quality player. And I think a quality person, too. You know, he's tried to be a leader for him. With, even though he hasn't got that much support, you know, he hasn't said anything negative to any of his teammates. He hasn't seen any disgust on his face or anything. He's just hanging in there playing his game and trying to encourage his teammates as much as he can. He started at Crane. He got a state championship his junior year. He'll get second his senior year. It's 74-62 with 50 seconds. The only team to beat East St. Louis Lincoln, Lincoln High School, and Lauren Wallace. Off the board for LaFonso Ellis. Ellis with a great game in the title. Ellis just had too much muscle for Richard Smith that time. He just forced it right over him and put it in. Here's the steal by the Tigers. Chavis holds it. Chavis missed. Emmett Lynch up ahead to Liberty. Can he catch up with it? Yes. Somehow he got it back in bounds. He landed about the fourth row. Chavis goes all the way down, dishes it off to Ellis, and he got it in. And he's fouled. And the Tigers celebrate what will be a championship. Look at LaFonso. They should be happy. Hey, their strength and power has really been overpowering, I think, for King today. As it seems, so many three-point plays, so many uh, shots that were, were uh, powered up for them, and uh, we haven't really seen that other than for Marcus Liberty from the King players. Marcus Liberty will come out of the game with seven seconds to play in a spectacular performance. 41 for Marcus Liberty in this championship game. That gives him 143 in the tournament. The tournament former scoring record was 115, give you some idea. Well, high school will miss him, but college will love him. What, what is Lou Henson saying? Give me liberty. <laughs> He's got him, and it'll be a delight to watch him in the Big Ten over the next four years. Now King getting substitutes in. Keith Calvert is 15. 24, Michael King comes on. 21 is Anthony Burwell on the court at the assembly hall. Seven seconds to play LaFonso Ellis. Twenty-six points for Ellis in this game. And a lot of block shots and rebounds. Make it 27 for Ellis. 79-62. It's the final score. That's all the that matter. Jamie Brandon. And that's all. The game is over. The Tigers of East St. Louis Lincoln are the champs.